This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a big show. It's just a big show. Big show. Big show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a big show. It's just a big show. Big show. Big show. What's up YouTube? I'm your homeboy, own boy Josh, back at you with another video. And today, we're gonna talk about the Petri. The Petri. The Petri RDA. I've decided that there was no masculine way to say the word Petri. So, I mean, Petri. 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 That's not how you say it. It's not Petri. It's Petri. The Petri RDA, there's no masculine way to say, say the word Petri. And, you know, so I just decided to suck it up and get the pink one. Now, it's not just a feminine name. I'm not saying it's a, I'm not saying you're a girl if you have the Petri RDA. I love the Petri RDA, I do. But it's got a very feminine name. It's got this feminine, very flowery kind of thing going on in the front. This Fleur de Lis feminine flower that says Dot Mod. Dot Mod's the company that makes the Petri. And it's, it's a curvy RDA. She's very curvy. I mean, yeah, there are lots of curvy RDAs. They're all generally circular, unless they're square. But there are masculine RDAs. You know, there are very masculine RDAs out there. The Rage RDA. I mean, that, that's a masculine RDA if I ever saw one. This is a very masculine RDA. Even the, uh, the tank, the tank is very masculine. It's all very masculine. Okay, now the Petri is, is very feminine. She's, she's a girly girl, okay? And that's okay. I mean, there's, there's something to be said about the feminine form. Perv. There's also, you know, just ambiguous looking RDAs. The Eric. I, I don't know if that's a girl or a guy. It, it's ambiguous, it's sexually ambiguous, okay? And also, before we dive down, another word. A word on clones, okay? This is a clone. This is the worst clone I've ever had, okay? This is awful. This is shit. Now, it's so bad that I've had this for a few months now. I've had this for a little while, and I haven't really shown it because it's a piece of shit. I will just get that out of the way. It's a piece of shit. Now, when it comes to clones, clones, they used to be awesome. It used to be, I feel like I could buy anything on Fast Tech like a year ago or six months ago even. And it would come in and it might not be as nice as the authentic, but it would be usable. It would be a pretty good, you know, it would be a pretty decent RDA. I'd be very happy with it. Almost everything we'd say on Fast Tech, on you know, whenever I bought a clone, would say one-to-one -one clone. Now it's all the style of, the style of this, you know, generic this, style of that. And they're garbage. They're garbage. It used to be clones were just as dependable as the authentics, I felt like. I never felt gypped with a clone. These days, it's just the opposite. These days, it's like, uh, it's a clone. Do I really want it? because, you know, it's gonna be a piece of shit. Do I even wanna waste my money on it? This one came in the exact same box as the Cascada. I lost the box, but I don't have it anymore. I, I feel like my, uh, my Veritas came in that box, that same box, and it was great. I never had a problem with my Veritas. I'm just saying the quality of the clones has just gone like way downhill. I mean, I don't know what that's about. Maybe China's gotten lazy. Maybe the, the best companies that make the clones, Tobacco, Watofo, Ivogo, you know, they're starting to make authentics. So it's like, you know, they're, they're done making clones, now they're making authentics, and now a bunch of shitty clone makers are still out there making really shitty clones. I don't know if they still make as many clones as they used to. I mean, they still make, Tobacco still makes some clones, but not as many of them. I don't know what it's about. 
why, you know, it used to be I could get a really decent, dependable clone, and now, you know, I, I really have problems with buying a clone. Not because it's not authentic, you know, I'm not an authentic, you know, kind of guy, generally. I'm fine with buying clones. I feel like most of these RDAs, they're really expensive. I mean, the authentic dot mod goes for a hundred bucks. I mean, it's expensive. That's expensive for an RDA. You can buy a mod with that. You can buy a couple mods with that these days. It used to be you can get pretty dependable clones. It's not the case anymore. Hence, yeah, I ended up buying the authentic. So, yeah, without further ado, come on in here. Let's compare the two. All right, so this is everything that you get with the uh, Petri clone from Angel Six. Okay, that's where I got it. You get these three top caps, you know, in different colors, and your RDA. And they come in two separate boxes, the same box, okay? Now, everything's great on the outside. The barrel, this finish is really nice, very smooth, very nice finish. It has started to chip a little bit over there little chip over there, little little chip around the, well, I've had this thing a couple months now. I've lent it out to, to Brett, Southern Gentleman. He, he used it in one of his videos. Um, and, you know, I, I, I've, I've, I've used it every now and again. You know, it, you can see there's like a little paint, little pink paint on the top over there. But overall, I mean, the, the finish feels really nice, okay? It's got some flaws. But it's a clone. It's a clone that I paid something like 10, 12 bucks for. I don't remember. The deck is where things really go downhill. You look at that discoloration, that's after a cleaning. The peak just gets discolored. It like absorbs the juice and just turns gross. I don't believe that's peak. I think it's, it's some shysty plastic. This is junk. Everything about it feels cheap. It just feels chintzy and cheap, okay? It doesn't look like a very good gold plate. It looks like it's gold painted. I mean, look at that. That's lopsided. And it doesn't even match this one. It's just poorly made. Poorly made, poorly constructed. And the worst thing about it, that post just goes all the way around. All the way around, all day long. It does not stop spinning. It's awful. Awful to build on. But once you get it built, it vapes fine. You know, once you get a build, it vapes fine. But you're, you want to hold this basically with pliers while you're tightening this down. That's the only way to get it built. This thing's terrible. It's awful. And my understanding is the Authentic had a spinning post issue as well, but I don't think it was as bad as this. And it, not everyone had that problem. Now that with the Authentic, it comes in a box like this. Not even a box, it comes in like this, this glass, beautiful, display kind of thing with a uh, with a cork up top and this bird's nest underneath this is feminine too i'm sorry it is it's very feminine but it's beautiful it's beautiful pops out like this and you get your fully assembled rda and underneath you got some some extras some extra o-rings no extra screws this time but extra o-rings and this is the version 1.5 petri Okay, they went and they took out all the problems here. Basically, they fixed the spinning post issue. They also made the post holes a bit bigger, which is which is really nice because I was able to fit some uh, staggered fuse claptons in here. Look at the finish on that one in comparison to the clone. I mean, it's just a deeper gold. I mean, it is gold plated, but it's it's plated in actual gold. It's not plated in junk. Okay. It is serialized in the bottom. I've got number 1087, and it says version uh, 1.5. I kind of love these thumb screws. Um, I do tighten them down with a Phillips head, but I do love these thumb screws. I really do. They just work great. I've had this guy for about two weeks now, and I've really put it through its paces. That was about the third or fourth build I put on this thing. Yeah, I want to say it was the third build. And there's no sign of, you know, the peak being stained in any way or discolored. It's still a little wet right now, but, I mean, that's all. It's not stained. It's not gross. This one, look at that. After about... 
this is it, it, it's been like this since the first use. I mean, I've had this for about a month or two now. I hardly use it because it's terrible. But you know, it, it, it was discolored from the first use, basically. It just hasn't, you know, no. This is beautiful. Okay, this is the difference in the authentics and the clones that are coming out these days. You know, there's just no comparison to the authentics anymore. These screws are just, they feel beautiful. These thumb screws, they are just smooth as butter. And the post holes, look at those post holes. They're not ginormous post holes, but they're enough to fit, you know, some Clapton 26. Now, some Fuse Clapton 26. Now, if you Fuse Clapton 24, eh, you're going to have a hard time. But Fuse Clapton 26, they're going in there no problem. Okay? Even, even the staggered Fuse that was in there before goes in there no problem. I was able to fit um, a, a staggered 26 alongside a third strand of 26 in here, so paralleled. You know, I've got the pictures up on my Instagram and also over on my Vaporium. But this guy's gorgeous. The finish on the top cap, it's just satiny. Satiny, beautiful finish. I mean, compare that to this, this cheapo, chintzy look to it. I mean, it was fine until you start comparing the two. I was totally fine with this finish until, you know, this. You know, totally fine with it till then. Conical top cap for improved flavor. And just better than, I mean, it's, you know, looking at them, this, it used to be you, you'd have no problem getting a one-to-one -one clone. This is in no way one-to-one. -one. This is just, uh, the weight of this compared to the weight of this, this is super light. This feels light. This feels heavy. You know? The grooves on that heat dissipation ring. I mean, everything about this thing is just classy. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I've gotten more use out of this guy in two weeks than I got out of this guy in like two months. Just because of how crappy this deck is. This deck, this deck is beautiful. The thing to keep in mind when you're building this guy is that that lip, that, that lip sits flush with this. So the coil has to sit completely inside this ring. You can't go to the outside of the ring, okay? With a lot of RDAs, you can build as far as the outside, but with this, you can't, because this lip over here is gonna flush down onto this. And that cuts it by about a millimeter or so of the deck space to build in. And it looks like it's fine here, but it's really not. You know, it needs to be, yeah, these, these coils were around three millimeter bits, I really should have built them on uh, two and a half millimeter bits. It will fit and it will fire. It just cuts it really, really close. And of course, the other issue, if there is another issue, subjective con, it's uh, only going to be a dual coil RDA. No single coils here. Using some more of this kendo cotton, testing it out, putting it through the ringer. before you review it. Ho oh, oh, ho, what's this? What's this? Oh, that's right, Trinity top cap. Fits perfectly. Uh, this is the uh, same one that Brett, Southern Gentleman, sent this to me. And uh, you saw it with uh, one of my uh, Alliance RDA videos. I talked about this in the Alliance RDA because it fit. Well, this is the RDA that it's meant for. It's meant to be put on the Petri. And it's perfect fit on the Petri. I love this top cap. It's a second RDA basically because it changes the vape, it changes the whole look of everything, changes the flavor a bit, and the draw. 
and it looks awesome on that, you know, Project Subohm IPv3 that I've got. I can also pop the gold cap on, throw it on the, uh, you know, Sigeli 100 watt plus, and with this uh, little dot mod drip tip that came with my RDA, boom, and a uh, matchy 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 matchy. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys back up there. Delicious. Just delicious. I mean, I've been using this RDA every day for the past two weeks, basically. And I gotta tell you, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I got this guy, you know, Brett sent me this, but I, I've got, I got, got this guy with the, with the gold cap over at Modern Vapor Company. It's a local shop. And, you know, I gotta say, they've really stepped up their game. I've been in there a couple times, but they've really stepped up their game. They've got, the moment I saw that it was a shop locally that was carrying some, some nice high-end stuff, I was like, you know, these guys are going to get a lot more of my business because that's something worth supporting. I mean, it's the only shop locally that has, you know, $100 plus mods. I paid $100 for this, this RDA. And they had the, mod, the matching dot mod um, max too. I'm not a mech kind of guy. I would have gotten a set, but I mean, I, I walked in and I saw it and, you know, honestly, I haven't been in the market for a dual coil only RDA for some time, but I always loved the Petri. I hated this clone because, you know, building it with that, with that shitty, shitty, shitty spinning post was just awful, but I always wanted one. And they had it there. They had so much cool stuff that day. I mean, they had they had authentic rig mods. They had authentic dot mods. They had they had a I, I can't remember if it was a Stumpy or the Thump RDA. One of the other. I forget which one it was. Built by built by Floral Face himself. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that they had that there. I mean, that's really cool. That shop is awesome. They have build workshops by a guy, a Chucktown Builder, kind of a big builder on Instagram, Chucktown Builder. And, uh, you know, Floral Face is, and Chucktown Builder, they're also part of their build team, the Coil Collective. I mean, they're, they're doing some really cool stuff over at that shop. So I had no problem, no problem throwing down $100 on this RDA to support that shop, you know. I was really impressed with them, with their customer service while I was in there, with their selection, especially, especially here, especially here. I mean, there's just not a whole lot in, you know, in terms of vaping in the Charleston area. There's a bunch of shops out there, but not a whole lot of them carrying authentics. I mean, we've had this talk before. We've talked about this, you know, with the, uh, the whole thing with the, uh, Twisted Messes RDA. We've talked about this. You know, there's not just not a whole lot of that out here where, you know, there are shops selling Authentics, let alone Authentics that cost more than a hundred bucks or cost a hundred bucks. Most Authentics here, if there are Authentics, are the Mutation X variety. That's about it. You know, if Authentic Mods, sure. You know, you can get Authentic Mods here. There's plenty of that. Um, but nothing really, really, really high end like this. So it was, it was kind of a treat to be able to buy them something like this locally. And I've been enjoying it. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I've been enjoying it. I mean, compared to, compared to the clone, it's just a, it's just amazing. 
I mean, the, the clones out there these days, they're, they're just not what they used to be. They used to be. You can get pretty reliable clones, but not anymore. I don't know what that's about. It's kind of sad. Sad for my wallet. Great for, you know, mod makers everywhere and RDA makers everywhere, but sad for my wallet. Good for you guys and me, I mean the consumers, great for us that we can get, you know, some pretty some pretty, pretty decent hardware at reasonable prices. You know, the dot mod Petrie RDA is high end. It's a hundred bucks. Yeah, you know, I love it. I really do. And I've been using the shit out of it. I really have. Every day for like the past two weeks, I, I've been using this thing. It's got great flavor. It's got a great draw. It's like slightly restricted, but you can still take a really good long hit with it. And uh, I love the drip tip, the dot mod drip tip that it came with. It's really, really good. It's very soft. Um, it's very, very gentle on the lips. I like that a lot. Don't, it doesn't get too hot. Um, it is, it's just a really beautifully made, beautiful RDA. And I'm, I'm glad that I have it. I'm glad that I got it locally and I got to support a local shop in the process. And I've been loving this thing. Mm. But it is a hundred bucks. It is a hundred bucks, let's face it. I mean, it's a lot of money to spend on an RDA. These days you can get some pretty nice authentics for the $30 range, the $60 range, you know. And some of them even more versatile. Some of them that you can get in a single airflow option. You know, what I wish is that Dot Mod would come out with a separate top cap. That's a single airflow top cap. I think that would be really, really cool. Really cool. I would buy that. I would buy that as an accessory. I really would. But the dual airflow on this, I mean, it's it's perfect. It really is. For a dual airflow Eddy, it's got just the right amount, just the right amount of airflow. And it's not adjustable, so it better damn well be pretty perfect. And for me, it's pretty perfect. In terms of airflow, in terms of, in terms of RDAs, I only have one airflow option. You can't ask for anything better. This is like the, the perfect combo of a restrictive draw and an airy draw. I mean, it's perfect. You can blow clouds with it. You can get good flavor with it. It's just an excellent RDA. And with the that two post design, it's just got so many build options. So many build options. Two posts with four post holes. It's perfect for builders. And with this version 1.5, they fixed any spinning post issue there was. They widened those post holes a bit. Enough for two strands of 26 Clapton. I couldn't really fit 24 in there. But 26 Clapton with, you know, another strand of 26 paralleled works perfectly. So for those reasons, it being somewhat limited in what you can build it, what you can build on it, you know, you have to use, I, I wouldn't say that you could, uh, you couldn't, you couldn't do a fuse clapton with 24, not without drilling the post holes. With that in mind, you know, it's a great RDA, but if I lost it, would I buy it again if I lost it today? Um, I'm going to use the shit out of it, but if I lost it, I probably wouldn't buy it again. I like it a lot. I really do. It's a great RDA. It's expensive. That's what it is. I'd cry. <laughs> I'd cry if I lost it. I'd be very upset, but I, I probably wouldn't buy it again just because it's a hundred bucks. I'm gonna take really good care of it because I really love it. Um, I've been I've been cleaning it up on like a daily basis. I noticed that like sometimes certain dirt, some grit, I don't know why, will collect in the uh, in the um, heat dissipation area. I noticed that, and. You know, maybe I should have gotten the black one and I wouldn't have noticed it as much, but I wanted the gold one. 
I probably would not buy it again. I love it. I use it every day. But I wish that it was a little bit more versatile in the builds that it could handle. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more versatile. But it vapes fantastic. And I, I love the way that vapes. Anyway, till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on vapors. <laughs>